Hello, I'm Andrew, and this time what I'm here to discuss is on a legendary fighter that was operated by the United States Navy, which was well known for the movie Top Gun, which was the F-14 Tomcat, one of the greatest fighters that had ever lived, which sadly is no longer used by the U.S. Navy anymore. Now, as for the F-14, even though they sh you were used in air-to-air -air combat in the movies, the U.S. Navy F-14s did get a few aerial victories. However, only one foreign nation was bought the F-14 Tomcat, which was Iran. Now, during the time, and Iranian F-14s, they saw impressive aerial combat in the Iran-Iraq War. The Islamic Republic of the Iranian Air Force, their fighter planes, which were F-5E Tiger IIs, F-4E Phantom IIs, and F-14A Tomcats, achieved about 250 to 300 aerial victories, according to this book. And of that, of the 250 to 300 aerial victories achieved by the Iranian Air Force, over 150 of those aerial victories were achieved by Iranian F-14A Tomcats. Now, when the Iran-Iraq War began, what happened was the first aerial victory that would end up being achieved by an Iranian F-14 was when they shot down in Iraq a Soviet-built Mi-25 Hind gunship attack helicopter of Iraq and eventually F4, Iranian F-14 Tomcats would end up shooting down other aircraft of Iraq, which were the French-built Dassault Mirage F-1 EQ fighter bomber, the French-built Dassault Super Attendard strike fighter, also some SA-321 Super Freylon, which are French-built helicopters, also um, F4, Iranian F-14s would shoot down Soviet-built MiG-23 Flogger fighter interceptors, MiG-21 MF Fishbed fighters, MiG-25 Foxbat fighter interceptors, also uh, Soviet-built Tu-22 Blinder strategic bombers, also one Chinese-built Xi'an B-6D Badger, which of course it was the uh, Russian Tu-16 Badger bomber that was licensed built by the People's Republic of China. Also, um, MiG-23 BN Flogger, Flogger attack planes, Soviet-built uh, Su-22 fitters, and uh, even one Egyptian Dassault Mirage 5 SDE electronic warfare plane of the Egyptian Air Force that had been sent to assist Iraq. Even a few planes of the Soviet Union got blown out of the sky by Iranian F-14s, according to this book. And uh, such planes were MiG-23 Flogger fighter interceptors, MiG-23 BN Flogger attack planes, MiG-27 Floggers, and even some Soviet MiG-25 Foxbat fighter interceptors. The reason Iran bought the F-14 was when the Soviet Union had uh, their MiG-25 Foxbat reconnaissance planes running recon flights over Iran, and the Shah needed a plane that could uh, counter them since their F-4E Phantom IIs were not highly capable of stopping them. So he chose the F-14 because it was very deadly to do that. And of course, um, Iranian F-14s did well with their AIM-54 Phoenix missiles, like when I mentioned the Tu-22 Blinder. According to this book, four to six Tu-22 Blinders of Iraq's strategic bomber squadrons suffered heavy, suffered losses as four of the six of them were shot down by Iranian F-14s. And of the four Iraqi Shi'an B-6D Badgers, one of them also got shot down by an Iranian F-14, 
along with her anti-ship cruise missile, which had been fired at the Iranian Navy. And when the Iraqis learned that, that they lost a Badger bomber, the remaining Badger bombers of Iraq were forbidden to go swanning past Bahrain after they had lost one. And not only that, um, even one of the Iraqi MiG-25 Foxbats that was shot down by an Iranian F-14 happened to be flown by an Iraqi ace. I, his name was Mohammed Brian. He was known as the Sky Falcon. Very few Iraqi pilots got, uh, according to internet research, were qualified to fly the MiG-25. Now with Mohammed Rayan, his first two kills were in the MiG-21 fish bed when he shot down two Iranian F-5E Tiger IIs, and the rest of his kills, which were in the MiG-25, were Iranian F-4E Phantoms, but Mohammed Rayan ended up getting shot down and killed when his MiG-25 Foxbat got hit by an AIM-54 Phoenix missile that was fired from an Iranian F-14. And as a result, he was killed in action. Now, however, when it came to an Iranian pilot who was the most successful in the F-14 was Jalil Zandi. He became an ace. He ended up shooting down 11 Iraqi aircraft, which were four Soviet-built MiG-23 Flogger fighter interceptors. He also ended up shooting down three French-built Dassault Mirage F-1 EQ fighter bombers. He shot down two Iraqi MiG-21 MF fish beds and two Iraqi Su-22 fitter fighter bombers. The F-14 Tomcat of Iran was very much feared by the Iraqis. Another successful mission I read in this book was when um, Iranian F-4E Phantoms went, went to launch an airstrike, which was during the Iran-Iraq War, which was to destroy some uh, a, a target near Baghdad. They ended up taking anti-aircraft fire and the Iraqis sent MiG-21 fish beds and MiG-23 floggers to go after them, and the Iranian F-14 successfully went into the Baghdad area, successfully shot down two MiG-23 flogger fighter interceptors and one Iraqi MiG-21 fish bed, and both fa Iranian F-4E Phantom IIs successfully made it out of the Baghdad area safely back to Iran. Like I said, one book I had read said that Iranian F-14 Tomcats didn't see much aerial action, but when I saw that, I just found that way too difficult to believe or agree with. And when I first got this book, which of course, by the way, is Iranian F-14 Tomcat units in combat, I knew it was right that they saw successful aerial combat. They did an excellent job. And, and this is how the F-14 has definitely gained her status, which was in the Iran-Iraq War. So anyway, um, if you want to put a comment, go ahead, but uh, try to keep uh, the politics out of the mix because this is not what I'm here to discuss. This is just about history of a legendary fighter which saw a lot of combat in the Iran-Iraq War. And this book explains very well about Iranian F-14 Tomcats in combat. So anyway, I'll review your comment and um, I'll, I'll review it and, and I'll decide to approve it. So anyway, I'll be looking forward to hearing your insight and what you think. Bye.